Hi, this is Justin with Justin's Web Design and socialnetworkingprofessor.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get started with Twitter, just the quick start guide here. First, you go to twitter.com and click on Get Started. That takes you to a sign up form. You put in your full name. You put in a username. And you'll see it'll check availability and it'll tell you if it's okay or not. Then uh, you put in a password. And then you put in your email address. You can select whether you'd like to have uh, receive emails from Twitter, the inside scoop, which is a set of emails from Twitter. And you have to type in these. Um, they're called CAPTCHA. The, they're security words so that they know that you're a real person, not a machine. Make sure you have, put in a space between the two of them. And I want to show you something first before I do this, because I started this once and I'm in, was in Firefox. And Firefox is very popular. This is Internet Explorer. Um, you know, at the end of this process, you hit create an account. But I wanted to show you something in Firefox. You have the same thing in Firefox. Well, there's no button in Firefox. And so all I would have to do in order to submit it in Firefox is once I have everything filled in, I didn't, like I'm in that box, I press the enter key on my keyboard and it'll submit it. Or if you're in Internet Explorer, and this may be something they fix soon, and so it might be a non-issue by the time you're watching this video. But um, you hit uh, create my account. So I'm going to go back to, to a Firefox, hit enter. It's going to come up and that's my RoboForm. That's something you can ignore. And it's going to come in and submit the account. Uh, once I hit enter, it, it actually came up for a second. You saw that. OK, so it, now in order to add uh, friends to your Twitter, and, and it, unlike other social networking avenues uh, where it requests, you, you send out to friends and you say, you know, will you be my friend? It's a one-way communication kind of, in that you're following people, and so you choose who you'd like to follow and who you'd like to see the updates for, and uh, then if they want, they can follow you back, but it's not, uh, whereas like LinkedIn or Facebook, it goes both ways automatically, and, and, the, and the friend has to, has to authorize you. You can follow anybody you want on Twitter, and that's one of the things that makes it so exciting is that um, you know Oprah, Ashton Kutcher, CNN, these Twitter accounts have hundreds of thousands or millions of, of people following them and those aren't all friends and they wouldn't work out as friends in, in Facebook. So uh, you can access your friends by you know, logging into one of your email, into your main email account. So it would ask you for your username and password for the email account. I don't have any contacts in there, so uh, that won't really help me. And so I'm going to go ahead and skip this step. But the easiest, one of the easiest ways to get started is to put in uh, your information here. In fact, I'm going to pause the video a second. I'm going to add an email to it to that account so that you can see what it looks like here just a sec. Okay, so I went ahead and add some emails to the other account. And I'm just going to hit continue. I think it will pick it up just from emails that are sent to me and that's what we're going to test right now. Go ahead and hit continue. Again, this box that pops up you can ignore. It says contacting Gmail. All right, so I had to change a couple of things. The uh, It doesn't pick it up out of email. It picks it up out of the address book. So that's something to keep in mind. And uh, 
I went ahead and switched to a different account that had a lot more action in it. Uh, so that just so you could see what it looks like uh, when it comes up. And so what it's going to do is it's going to show you the people that you that are that came up under your um, uh, that came up based on your um, address book, and you can check any of the people that you want to follow. And I'm going to leave them follow because it doesn't hurt to uh, uh, follow people here. Continue. Even though this is a fake account. The next thing it does is it allows you to invite people. So it's going to pick up other people who are in your address bar in your uh, contact list and it's going to allow you to invite them into Twitter. For now I'm going to skip this step because this is a uh, um, fake account. So I'm not going to invite anybody to Twitter who's not already part of it. But you could invite everybody in, that you wanted to connect with that's not already a part of Twitter. Uh, then you could do that. And then I click next. Now you'll see here are some people. They hit, they pick some of the most popular people and show you that you might want to follow. And I'm just going to uncheck all of those because I don't want to follow any of them. But you could uh, you could go through here. I would recommend unchecking select all and just picking the people that you're interested in following or organizations that you're interested in following. Click finish. And now we have our uh, full list of, uh, this is our profile. In the next video, I'll explain to you how to customize your profile a little bit. Uh, the last thing I'm going to show you is just how Twitter works here. So I'm going to show you those two things in the next couple of videos. How Twitter works overall, and uh, and then I'll show you how to customize it, and then I'll show you uh, some more advanced features in, in future videos. Thanks.